So I get fairly frustrated at this, as you can see. I'm a frustrated mathematician looking at this sort of cultural clash going on, and I'm saying, all right, it's time to put up or shut up. It's the old scientific culture of repeated observations versus a new <coughs> scientific culture of theoretical modelling and political meddling. And in that spirit, I made a bet. I bet an environmental lawyer in San Francisco, 6,000 US, that the rate of increase of global temperature would slow over the next 10, 15 and 20 years. I wanted to bet a much larger amount, but he wanted a smaller amount. <laughs> the first payoff might be till 2019. And for those of you who appreciate that the money supply in most of the West of the whole world now is growing up well over 10% a year. And the definition of CPI gets fiddled with occasionally, we'll recognise that you know, that amount of money in 2019 is going to be pretty trivial, but anyway. It's quite hard to figure out how you can profit from the knowledge that carbon emissions are probably having very little effect. I'll give it some thoughts. <laughs> no, it's a bit indirect. Coastal <laughs> <Personal> properties. <laughs> no, coastal property prices aren't being affected much by... Uh, I, I know that, yeah. And they won't be. That's the thing. They can't really profit there. There's anything to do with water. It might be due to precipitation and, and moisture in the air. I mean, that's often affected by the amount of trees nearby. Yeah. It often has nothing to do with temperature per se. It's quite hard to find a way of making money, but I eventually found a guy I, I thought was pretty credible and I bet him. Um, on the other hand, it's easy for me to profit by taking the opposite view that carbon emissions are to blame and we should all jump on the bandwagon. Oh, 